Stampers, welcome back to my studio today. I always love having you stop by for some craftiness and today is an under 10 minute or less card. It is fast, but it's so pretty um, and you can customize it to any year that you need. And what I mean by that is um, when you purchase this little die right here and it's from Spellbinders, you can get it on my affiliate codes below. Um, when you um, get this die right here, um, it has a set of numbers. So what I do is I just do a whole bunch of numbers. I stick them in my little packet and I have them ready to go. But um, you can you can um, customize it any way that you want. Now, um, what I did here was um, just used parts of this. Um, but I wanted to show you another card that I've done recently and I used a lot of the parts on this. All right. So it's a very versatile thing. You can also use this um, die set to go along with this little vignette right here. It fits perfectly. So if you have this and you have the happy birthday and then you have a, the other pieces that go with this, this is another one that is a fantastic add-on to um, make this go even farther. So make sure that you get um, this piece to go along with it. This is one of my biggest sellers. It's called Happy Birthday with Numbers. The affiliate link is below. It is also in the upper right-hand corner where that little eye is. That'll show you where to go also. That's the information. And um, let's just get going because this is such a fast card. I started with a card base that was 11 by 4 and a quarter, folded it in half, so I now I have a 5 and a half by 4 and a quarter inch card. I'm going to add my chambray shirt um, blue. Before I did that, I cut out my Happy Birthday. And... Um, like I said, this is such a fast card. You save a lot of paper by doing this, and it's just fast. All right, so we're going to add that layer right there. I'm going to stamp my sentiment, and my sentiment is from a stamp set that is out and about. Um, most of you have this already. It's called Inside and Out, and I use this um, a lot. Um, I love this saying also, but I use the whole stamp set quite a bit. I'm just going to stamp that on the bottom of my white cardstock here and add that to my card layer. You know what? I think I'm going to make that go up just a little bit farther. So I'm going to re-stamp that on the back because we can do that. That's why I tell you never, ever, ever stamp anything until um, you have everything or don't uh, add anything to your card until you um, stamp everything and you see how I cover up the holes so what I did was I used my vagabond to cut out these little happy birthdays right here and we're gonna add this to it right here so I'm gonna grab some of my foam squares add that right to the middle Put the happy on top. Isn't that so cute? And then I'm gonna add my white piece to it, but this card I'm gonna leave generic because I don't want to, um, I just wanna grab it when I can. And that's what I said, all of the numbers are already done and I can just add it when I need to um, customize it. So I'm just gonna leave this in the middle empty. All right, and then I'm actually going to make another card because I've got it all cut out and ready to go. If I've got all this stuff out, I am definitely going to make as many cards as I can. I like to cut in twos, so I'm doing two cards in less than 10 minutes. And this one I'm actually going to leave the words off also so that I can add something different if I want to. So for those of you that have that vignette, make sure you get this happy birthday with numbers. Um, just click on the links below or hop on over to my blog and you can see where um, I got them from. They are just amazing. All right, I'll put a couple of pop dots on that. This is a very raised card. And like I said, I'm gonna leave this one generic and add some pop dots to this one and we my friends are done so this one is a very generic card right here 
all right? I'm gonna stick that in my card box and I can put whatever saying I want on there and I'm gonna add my little numbers and we are good to go. So that is my card. Oh, I did add some of my, um, my uh, journey glaze to the top of this so that um, it gave it more of a 3D look. Let me just see if you can see the glistening in the, you see how shiny that is? And it gives it a raised effect. This is a very raised card. So, so very pretty. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. Like I said, I love these 10 minute or less cards. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. The links are below. Um, and I appreciate you shopping um, my, my affiliate codes with me. It keeps me going. All right, you take care. Have a great day and thank you for stopping by.